Hey everyone, it's Jen from Roger Williams Park Zoo. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Zoo School. Today, we are gonna talk about uh, animal families. And we're gonna start by introducing you to one of our very favorite animals. He's kind of famous here at the zoo. This is Sheldon, the ambassador armadillo. We've had Sheldon at the zoo since 2008. Um, and he is super, super successful as, as one of our animals. So he arrived in 2008, and his story is a lot different than most of the animals at the zoo. So the vast majority of our zoo animals were either born here or born at other zoos. Sheldon was actually wild born. And his story uh, is a little crazy, and it's a story that we tell people as a caution. Because we get stories from a lot of people you know, they're out in the woods or they've come across a wild animal and they really want to keep it as a pet. Um, Sheldon, that's how, that's how we actually got Sheldon. So Sheldon was born down south in the southern United States where our nine banded armadillos are native to. And someone found Sheldon as a baby and took him home and thought he would make a great pet. Well, I've never actually talked to that person, but I can tell you that a nine-banded armadillo as a pet is a terrible idea for many reasons. Um, I don't know if you can see his little toes. He's got super, super hard claws here that can dig through almost anything. So armadillos in the wild dig a whole bunch of burrows and then they connect those burrows through a series of tunnels and that's gonna be their safe place to go whenever they are threatened. So Sheldon here doesn't have sharp teeth. He doesn't have, you know, he can't fly or jump. He doesn't have venom. He is just this kind of football shaped cutie that uses his body as a back door. When he gets scared, he goes to his closest burrow, uses his body as a door, and it's almost impossible for a predator to dig him out. And that's really his only defense. So I can't imagine what he would do in someone's house. But our deputy director made the great call when he, when he got the call um, to see if we needed an armadillo. He accepted. He said, yeah, we'll pro provide a great home for Sheldon. And he's been living with us ever since. And he's one of our really successful ambassadors. You may have seen him at zoo camp. He goes out to field trips. Um, he goes to nursing homes or Hasbro Children's Hospital. He does all sorts of work in the community connecting people to animals. And he's a really successful uh, member of our department because he really is very, very comfortable with people. And that's one of the most important things that we do. So I said in the beginning we were going to talk about animal families because armadillos are really interesting. So uh, when armadillos are born, um, they are always four for babies because the egg cell from the mama armadillo splits into four. So the mama armadillo is always going to have four babies in her belly and they're going to be all male or all female. Hi buddy. Sheldon's just walking around sniffing for bugs right now. We're here in Zoo Lab, one of our classrooms. He's having a good time. So um, you're always going to have four armadillos, which is really, really cool. Um, and I'm sure there are three little identical Sheldons running around somewhere. Um, in the wild. Sheldon, again, is about, uh, he's at least 12 years old. So one of the things that uh, you, you may have seen Sheldon, he's been a part of our uh, armadillo encounters in the summertime. So if you come to the zoo, you can go in um, one of Sheldon's habitats where he loves to dig and play in the water. Um, so a lot of people know him from that. And if you were a part of that encounter, you notice that Sheldon has been living with Patsy. So Patsy is Sheldon's partner. Um, Patsy's significantly younger than Sheldon. She's only about five years old. And the two of them have been living together for two years. We were hoping that they would have babies, um, but it wasn't the case. But during uh, Patsy's vet check at the beginning of this year, Dr. Kim noticed that her belly was kind of big. So she did an ultrasound, which if you follow the zoo closely, you've seen ultrasounds on our sloth Fiona. She did an ultrasound and she saw little armadillo babies inside Patsy's belly 
which none of us could believe. We were all super excited. So at that point, our deputy director, Tim, went and built a beautiful place for Patsy to get ready to welcome her babies. She had lots and lots of dirt and hay, and she built a beautiful nest. Well, on Earth Day this year, our zookeeper Gabe had a nice surprise when he went to check on Patsy and he saw that she had four little babies underneath her. them I, I couldn't even like my mind was blown little teeny hamster size armadillos they're ridiculous and we are so excited that they are a member of our zoo family so uh, we hope you enjoyed seeing them your zoo school challenge today is for you to tell a story or draw a picture of your family tell us about your family why you love them you can email it you can send it you can post it in the comments we love to hear it. We love to hear back from you guys. That does it for another edition of Zoo School. Thank you so much for joining us and we will see you at the zoo soon.